Hello once again, my friends, as we gather together for today's Mass, which is Saturday of the fourth week of Easter. O chosen people, proclaim the mighty works of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. Alleluia. Let us pray together in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us call to mind those things that we need to ask God for assistance and for forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you call us as sinners. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you call us as friends. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you call us to this table of faith. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in the celebration of Easter graciously give to the world the healing of heavenly remedies, show benevolence to your church, that our present observance may benefit us for eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. On the following Sabbath, almost the whole city gathered to hear the word of the Lord. When the Jews saw the crowds, they were filled with jealousy and with violent abuse contradicted what Paul said. Both Barnabas and Paul spoke boldly and said, It was necessary that the word of God be spoken first to you. But since you reject it and condemn yourselves as unworthy of eternal life, we now turn to the Gentiles. For so the Lord has commanded us, I have made you a light to the Gentiles, that you may be an instrument of salvation to the ends of the earth. The Gentiles were delighted when they heard this and glorified the word of the Lord. All who were destined for eternal life came to believe, and the word of the Lord continued to spread through the whole region. The Jews, however, indicted the women of prominence who were worshippers and the leading men of the city, stirred up a persecution against Paul and Barnabas, and expelled them from their territory. So they shook the dust from their feet in protest against them and went to Iconium. The disciples were filled with joy and the Holy Spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. The Lord has made his salvation known. In the sight of the nations, he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song, sing praise. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. If you remain in my word, you will truly be my disciples and you will know the truth, says the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. My friends, the Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, If you know me, then you will also know my Father. From now on you do know him and have seen him. Philip said to Jesus, Master, show us the Father and that will be enough for us. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you for so long a time, and you still do not know me, Philip? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, Show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am the Father, and the Father is in me? The words that I speak to you I do not speak on my own. The Father who dwells in me is doing his works. 
Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me. Or else believe because of the works themselves. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever believes in me will do the works that I do, and will do greater ones than these, because I am going to the Father. And whatever you ask in my name, I will do, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything of me in my name, I will do it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My friends, Philip asks some of the very same questions that I know I ask, and, and I think lots of people ask is how does this triune God, one, one God and three persons, the Blessed Trinity, how does that work? And of course, we can always give the great answer of the Catholic, which is, it's a mystery, but it is. You know, that's, I know that sounds like a cop-out answer, but it really is, because it is too much for our minds to grasp. But Jesus here is trying to show Philip and the other apostles that he and the Father are one in mission and in love. It's hard for us to conceptualize that, because not because we're dumb, but because we don't know the whole plan. We only see this much of what's really going on in the whole cosmos under God's work. But you know, the gospel today in John, and in John in particular, uh, John is represented by the, the winged eagle. And that represents to us a soaring of our thoughts and trying to stretch our minds closer and closer to heaven. For that's what it takes, my friends. We can't just be stuck here on earth and working on this earthly stuff, but stretching our hearts toward God. And this line from about the 13th verse here today says, Whoever believes in me will do the works that I do and will do greater ones than these. And that just strikes me. It's like, how can we do greater works than Jesus? It's not that we're doing greater works than him, but we're continuing his plan, continuing his mission, and working under him to complete the great mission, which is our eternal salvation. So my friends, on this Saturday, let us ask God to help us see the bigger and bigger picture of what's going on with our eternal salvation. Amen. Brothers and sisters, as always, let us join together and pray for all the things that we need to ask God today. For the Pope and all who serve the people of God, may the Lord help them to persevere in defending the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For world leaders, may the God of justice help them in their work of serving the people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who suffer for the sake of the gospel, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our gathered faith community, that we who worship at God's altar may be transformed for service in Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of our beloved dead, may God welcome them to this heavenly table. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. My friends, we pray today for today's intention, which is for all mothers both mothers of blood and mothers because they had to step in and be mothers. May God continue to guide them and lead them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us now add our own prayer that we brought to Mass today. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Father, your Son, Jesus, came to give us a share in your life. Hear the prayers that we offer today through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, 
it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, we come to share in the divinity of Christ, you home us up to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we accept it by you, Lord, and may your sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you. Pray now, my sisters and my brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all, his holy church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to lodge you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and the integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land and every people exult in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. My friends, today let us pray Eucharistic prayer number two for reconciliation. You, therefore, Almighty Father, we bless you through Jesus Christ, your Son, who comes in your name. He himself is the word that brings salvation, the hand you extend to sinners, the way by which your peace is offered to us. When we ourselves had turned away from you on account of our sins, you brought us back to be reconciled, O Lord, so that converted at last to you, we might love one another through your Son, whom for our sake you handed over to death. And now, celebrating the reconciliation Christ has brought us, we entreat you, sanctify these gifts by the outpouring of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, whose command we fulfill when we celebrate these mysteries. For when about to give his life to set us free, as he reclined at supper, he himself took bread into his hands, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way on that same evening, he took the chalice of blessing in his hands, confessing your mercy, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Celebrating therefore the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, who left us this pledge of his love, we offer you what you bestowed upon us, the sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. Holy Father, we humbly beseech you 
to accept us also together with your Son and in this saving banquet, graciously to endow us with his very Spirit who takes away everything that estranges us from one another. May he make your church a sign of unity and an instrument of peace among all people. And may he keep us in communion together with Francis our Pope and Joseph our Bishop and all the bishops and your entire people. Just as you gather us now at the table of your Son, so also bring us together with the glorious Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints, with our brothers and sisters and those of every race and tongue who have died in your friendship. Bring us to share with them the unending banquet of unity in a new heaven and a new earth, where the fullness of your peace will shine forth in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Let us offer each other, my friends, the sign of peace. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. I love you so much, and may God's peace dwell with you and your faith. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. 
and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. For our Mass is ended, my friends. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.